Just hours ago, the toxic train derailment here in Ohio took the spotlight yet again in Washington, D.C. Governor Mike DeWine and the CEO of the rail company, Norfolk Southern, both testified this afternoon. Nicole D'Antonio explains how lawmakers hope to hold the company accountable. I'm here to put a face on this disaster. Misty Allison traveled from Ohio to the nation's capital to describe the February night her community will never forget. I could see a huge fireball from my driveway. My seven-year-old has asked me if he is going to die from living in his own home. Since the toxic train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio's senators have joined forces on a bipartisan Railway Safety Act, an effort to enforce tougher regulations. They compromise safety, cut costs to boost profits. The communities along their route be damned. Senators grilled Norfolk Southern CEO on what went wrong. Why did the second hot box reading not trigger action? Senator, my understanding is that that second reading was still below our alarm threshold. Alan Shaw said he supports safety reforms like increased training and phasing out older railway cars, but stopped short of other commitments. Will you commit to supporting legislation requiring at least two person crews on all freight trains? Senator, we'll, we'll commit to using research and technology to ensure the railroad operates safely. Governor Mike DeWine weighing in, telling lawmakers it's up to Norfolk Southern to make things right. It was their train, their tracks, their accident, they're responsible for this tragedy. Meanwhile, in East Palestine, residents and business owners continue to report headaches, congestion, and anxiety. They say with home values plummeting, even those who want to leave the community are now stuck. Now, I spoke with Senator J.D. Vance shortly after today's committee hearing. He has been quite vocal about the need for change and holding Norfolk Southern accountable for the mess left behind there in East Palestine. He says what he heard today from the company's CEO is encouraging. And I think the fact that you have the CEO of Norfolk Southern step up and say, look, we should be providing better notice uh, to the firefighters, and this bill does this. We should be installing more of these safety detectors along the rail lines, and this bill requires that. That was, a, that was a pretty good thing, and I think hopefully we'll send a signal to some people in the rail industry that they need to stop fighting this bill tooth and nail. They need to be a good participant towards a goal that all of us share, which is making trains in our country safer. Now, in addition to the proposed legislation there in the Senate, a similar bill is now being pushed in the House. Right now, it's unclear when either could come up for a vote.